you everyone. So we're here at the factory today and we're uh, trying out the uh, chopper gun for spraying fiberglass onto uh, whatever we want it. Um, this is the floor. It's a half floor for the uh, top floor, the bedroom floor of the uh, sea pod. So this is our first actual use. We did a test use before and now this is the first actual run through so uh, uh, the, the guys were just about to, to lay fiberglass down and that would have taken several probably at least a couple hours um, and now with this system we, we think it's going to go very very fast like this probably I'm not sure maybe 20 minutes maybe less uh, I think step one step one would be Oh, it's not, it's got stuck up there. It's kind of an interesting, like, school system we have uh, going through there. So, yeah, the uh, fiberglass, normally for this size, it would take hours. This, this should be much, much faster uh, with the system. Um, I think they'll have to spray it on. Then they may have to, yeah, he has a... Uh, Special device over there, like a almost like a paint roller. And there it goes. Yeah, this is going to take like minutes instead of this won't even take five minutes, I think. Wow. Now I'm probably going to get out of the scene because this is uh, very toxic to smell this stuff. So this is. Uh, I'm very happy about this. Okay. I, yeah. I'm going to move this camera a little bit so it's out of harm's way. We're still figuring this machine out. Uh, it's a little bit new for us. Okay, so it looks like it's looks like it's working again. There we go. I don't know what the problem was. Now they're making some small adjustments. I think there's a, a delicate balance between how fast the fiber uh, comes out and how much um, of the resin material is being mixed. So there's two things that are happening. We have the, uh, the fiber on the, the fiber string that you see there, uh, that's coming out and as it's coming out it's being cut into sections so it's like it's a chopped strand. Um, and then that's also simultaneously being mixed with resin material and so once you have the two um, pieces together then we're going to have to go through with like a, a roller to just compress it and make sure it's um, it's hardened and it's solidly on the, uh, the material we're putting it onto but this is going to save save us like 70% of the, the time for doing the uh, fiberglass work so this is this is a big advancement this is very exciting See now he's going through with the roller to just press it down, make sure it's stuck onto the material. Seems like there's a lot of issues with the machine, but it's still doing the job. Uh, looks like the thread was getting stuck at one point. And then there is a problem with the flow for some reason. Yeah, but I think uh, looks like they just turned it on off. So it's only the resin materials coming out, not the fiberglass. So I think they needed a little bit more fiberglass. Uh, so 
laboratory, they need a little more resin material. Very interesting though, but I'm going to end this video because the fumes are really bad. <laughs>